How's it going everyone? Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. My name is Arthur and today we're checking out Alienware's AW988 gaming headset. So let's get into it. So this is the first headset Alienware have made since 2009. Out of the box, it comes with a tough 6 foot braided micro USB cable for charging, a flat 4 foot aux cable with a built in microphone, and a 2.4 GHz wireless USB transmitter. This is what enables you to connect the headset to either a PC or a gaming console. So the transmitter has a range of 40 feet, which is crazy. I mean, who games 40 feet away from their console? When you're not using it, it fits into the right ear cup of the headset where it is completely concealed, but still easily accessible. So they're definitely at the higher end of the price range for gaming headsets at 290 Canadian dollars. However though, that said, there are always deals on, so it's worth waiting to get a better price. Despite this, they are one of the most beautiful headsets I've seen. It has a really angular design that gives it a very clean, minimalistic look. So, they're made of a really soft matte plastic, which looks really good. However though, the material they use is a fingerprint magnet, so just by using it, you're going to get stains from your fingers on the side and from your hair on the headband. Other than that though, they're really comfortable, and I love how much you're able to change the position of the ear cups. Because of this, they should be comfortable for everyone. They also have the ability to rotate 90 degrees, which I haven't seen in any other headset. This means that they can rest on your shoulders, really comfortably and be very easily slipped into a backpack when traveling. On the side there are two RGB zones which are fully customizable through the app with 16.8 million different colors so I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to find your favorite one. Rather than having a solid color though you can choose an animation instead. My favorite one is Spectrum where it cycles through all the different colors. Another feature I really like is being able to assign colours to particular games. For example, when I play Fallout, the colours change to yellow and blue, and when I play Halo Wars, it changes to solid green, which I think are classic colours for the games. With the RGB on, I got about 8 hours of battery life, but with it off, I got almost double that, around 16. If you're planning on using the headset with a console, and you want the RGB off, you have to disable the lighting through the app on PC and set RGB off as the default setting. The mic is really well hidden and fits pretty much seamlessly into the design. When you pull the mic down, you get a prompt Mic on. To let you know the mic's on. And when you push it back up again, it says Mic off. It can also be adjusted to be closer or further away from your mouth. All my friends tell me the mic quality is so much better than my old headset. This is what it sounds like. How's it going everyone? This is my test of the mic on Alienware's AW988 gaming headset. On the left ear cup, there's a load of controls for the headset. For example, on the side, there's the power button, which is the Alienware logo. And on the back, there's a volume wheel, a microphone mute button, and a game chat wheel, which allows you to change the level of game audio in relation to voice chat audio. It's always really annoying when you're playing a game where sound is so important to hear the direction of other players, but you can't hear anything because your friend's talking too loudly. Well with this, you can adjust that quickly and easily. On the bottom, there's a 3.5mm headphone jack, a micro USB port for charging, and an audio preset button, which allows you to cycle through different audio profiles. On the app, you can see that the audio configuration changes depending on whether you're gaming, watching movies, or listening to music. It's really nice to have so many controls at quick access, rather than having to go through that app or through the console settings. The sound quality is good, but I'm not absolutely blown away by it. I was expecting at this price range for it to be amazing. It doesn't really bother me though, because before I was using an old pair of Beats headphones from 2008, and these are a huge improvement compared to them. Their software enables virtual surround sound, which is absolutely brilliant. It's so easy to pinpoint where the sound is coming from around you. 
I play a game called Dead by Daylight, where one killer has to hunt down a number of survivors, and when I play as the killer against a particular friend who hasn't got a headset, he'll know who he is. He gets so annoyed, because when he's around me, I can pinpoint exactly where he is, even from the smallest sound, like just brushing past some grass. Overall, if you're looking for a headset that is super comfortable and has awesome style, I definitely recommend checking these out. However, if you're mainly concerned with sound quality, I recommend checking out the SteelSeries Arctis Pro headset, which is much more expensive, or something like the Razer Nori Ultimate, which has some really cool features. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, I will catch you all in the next one.